All right, just thought I'd do a video of my uh, Vito MC bag I carry in for most calls and stuff like that. I just set up here at the back on a pack out a piece of wood at the back of my ProMaster City. It's got garbage from today's work. Nice snap on beer koozie. Those are sweet. That's how I took right in the front. I keep little 30 weight non detergent. Orange one is a Fluke 116 with leads and jumpers. And the gray one in the back I keep just for extra wrenches and sockets. Got some tape. Random elevator keys. All right. Oh, that's garbage. Change that out. Uh, got some cheap Allens there, just from Princess Auto. Um, in the front is my fiberglass burnishing tool, which works awesome for cleaning contacts. Then the uh, Weira, what is it? 332nd for COP screws and hall stations and stuff like that. Um, some different pliers. Those are probably my favorite for sure. Crimp, cut, strip, everything you need. Um, retaining ring pliers. Nice reversible ones, right? You just unscrew that, throw it over, and you're good to go. Nipex. Just the little ones, right? Cobras. They're awesome. Probably the newest set I have are the uh, Weha Classic Grip flush cuts unbelievable how nice these are again another pair of nice snap-on ones needle nose um, Weehaw this is pretty much the best screwdriver ever made here in Canada we got a lot of those Robertson screws this 3.5 mil fits a Robertson, as long as it's not crazy tight. Pretty much have it in my pocket all day at work. Then just another pair of side cutters, just in case I wanna try and cut something and not damage the Weehaws. Um, just a pick, little pry bar thing I use. Ratchet F80. It's a beauty. Um, snap on adjustable. Just like a little six inch. It's nice. Uh, stubby ratcheting. These ratcheting screwdrivers from Snap-on are the best. You can't beat them. Uh, another Weha. I think, is this this Zeno? I think that's called maybe, that tip. Just for doing like, when I replace relays um, and check current relays, like make sure the terminals are all tight and stuff. Um, 1132nd Weira for the Otis stuff, the old Otis stuff that is that I work on. Pretty nice hollow shank. I'd like to maybe get an insulated one, but someday maybe. Uh, another multi bit from Snap On. Again, I love them. The only thing I would prefer is if these shanks came out without having to open this up and kind of do it, customize it yourself, like this one. If that comes out and they have a bunch of different 
sizes you can put in there, right? But this one you can't do that until you take this off and pull out a clip or something. Mastercraft number three Robertson. It's in rough shape. Does the job though. File. Always seem to use that. This is just um, random lunar keys and stuff. Double knuckle, whatever you guys call them. Different bunch of different elevators. There's some more. That's a GAL one. Uh, I got two of these double box in. Snap on three eighths, seven sixteenths, and then I believe this is half and nine. Yeah, half and nine sixteenths. They're nice. Um, then I just keep a half and seven sixteenths as well because you'll need two at some point in time. A couple more. This is metric. Those are metric Allen keys I keep. Down on the bottom, you can see I keep my door tool. For the elevator doors, right? Um, little thread lock. This is uh, something I use to clean contacts. I got from a guy I worked with before. Um, couple bits, Phillips extension, uh, the Schindler lunar key, the little half moon ones, um, and a fuse puller in there. That's it for that side anyways. You get quite a bit in it. So yeah, I got my gloves, Otis string, straw things for your fluid film. So yeah, I do a lot of handicap lifts, like vertical C's, that I go to quarterly. So we like to use this fluid film, a little tackier, lasts longer, right in between visits. Couple regs, snap on light. This thing is awesome. Some of the stuff's pretty, pretty pricey, but uh, it's nice stuff. Little pack of random fuses, some butt connects in there. Um, these are uh, just like the bigger fuses for the full size stuff. Just a random, you know, every like eight, sixes, ones, threes, tens, some random stuff. Got my uh, rope gauges. The no go or go no go. Um, another tool to check the door force on an elevator door while it's closing on you. You just let it close in and measure how many. Is it foot pounds? Or I don't know what that is to be honest with you. I never remember the unit of measure for those. The force on the door. Um, these snap-ons. I really don't understand why some of my stuff is getting all rusty and shit like that. It's been raining so much lately. But I keep these guys in the back here. I don't use them often. But uh, for checking pins and brakes and stuff like that on the old armors and stuff like that. Some of those pins get so tough that... You need something like this to work them loose so you can get them out and lube them up and clean them. Um, tamper proof. Mega Pro. Pretty decent little guy. This one I bought solely for the purpose of being able to cut an 832 bolt. Um, that's the only thing I really use this for. The Mastercraft Maximum stuff seems to be pretty good, but I don't have too much of it. I got another set of these in here, just in case I need the 90. 
right? Super small tip, just in case, right? Big flat head. I'm not gonna lie, this gets used for that pry bar quite often. And a paintbrush for door sills. Nothing else in there. Um, yeah, so I've had this for what? Probably seven months now. I got, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a tech pack in there. That's for the beefier stuff. More kind of a service work thing. Um, got a fair bit of stuff in there. I'm not packing it too crazy. There's still lots of room, but that's what I carry in my, uh, Vito Pro Pack MC. Uh, thanks for watching guys.